October 8th, and um, here's a little rundown of my day. So, I went to work, and I, got, I went there early because you're getting a corona test, and basically, last week we also got a corona test. A few of the other coworkers think they have corona because they all woke up with like a sore throat and they don't have fever, but I don't think that there are people that have corona and they don't even know it, you know? Like I, I've met people that had corona and they actually didn't, they got tested, they had it, they had no symptoms at all. So like my, some of my coworkers are like freaking out, they think they have corona and I'm feeling well. I say if you have a sore throat, the best thing to do is gargle with uh, mouthwash and salt water and vinegar because it's very powerful stuff. And just try, try to stay off cheese and sugar because sugar is inflammatory. Anyhow, so so I got there and the, the two people came from like the EMT or whatever. They came to do the corona test, right? So last week they only stuck um, a thingy down my throat. And up my one nostril. And this time, the guy, he takes the thingy. He sticks it down my throat. Okay, not a problem. Then he sticks it up one of my nostrils. And he sticks it up so far that I started to see stars. And I start, I blacked out. I My eyes went black. And then he sticks it up my second nostril. And then... Instead of taking it out, he leaves it in. <laughs> so I had this Q-tip, this long Q-tip, stuck far over my nose. And he lost the grasp, and it was just sitting there for like a few seconds up my nose, and he didn't have it in his hand, and he was supposed to take it out straight away. And I'm telling you, I was like in agony because he stuck it so far up that my eyes... First of all, I started to see stars, and then my my eyes went black. I couldn't see anything, and my eyes started to run, and my nose started to run after that. I mean, maybe it's a good thing for, you know, if you have, like, a stuffy nose, maybe it's a good thing to clear your nose, because I don't know, but and my nose was running, and I am... <laughs> It's just four percent. I'm just taking it to relax. Even though I have work tomorrow, I need to wake up early. So I'm just gonna drink this. Hmm. It's nice, it's cherry. So um then um since I was there early I was there early today, so I went to work early, and one of the guys that works there, he's like this um, Arabic married man, and he's like super friendly. Maybe I'm too open, you know, as a person, I'm too open, but like we got into a conversation, and he started asking me what it's like to live alone, and how can I be happy? I told him I'm very happy alone, and he's like, yeah, but you don't need a man. I said, no, I don't need anyone. I'm happy alone. And... and he just, people just can't understand that, you know? Like, they can't understand that people could be happy without another person in their life, you know? Like, I have a full life. I'm really happy. I don't need another man in my life, you know? I couldn't get that. And then he started to ask me, oh, what about sex? What about sex? And I'm like, first of all, how is that like a... I know I'm an open person, but now I realize my mistake. I shouldn't have spoken to him about sex because... He asked to be invited to my house, which only means one thing when a man asks that. And I was like, oh my God, like, this guy is married. And then he starts telling me that he wants a second wife. And I was like, he's like, yeah, in Arab culture, we can have four wives, you know. And, but his wife doesn't agree with it. And I said, okay, well... First of all, I feel bad for your wife. Second of all, if you can have more than one wife, I believe that women should be able to have more than one man. Then he started to say that, oh, it's not good for the woman's vagina to have um, more than one sexual partner because 
it's um it can make like issues with it you know infection and whatever and i'm like you have condoms <laughs> you know <laughs> now we're not living in the old century and old times you have you know and i told him like a relationship's not only about sex it's about you know if you're going to be seeing another woman on the side or you're going to have a second wife you're your wife is not going to be able to get the attention, the full attention from you. Attention. She's going to have to share it with someone else. And how would he like if his wife, if he were the only one and his wife was going and giving attention to other men? Somehow they just don't get it. You know, like... No, but I truly believe that if a, if a man wants to have a second wife, he should... I believe in polyamory. <laughs> But either way, I felt disgusted after talking with him because I was, like, really upset because, like, he's, like, my coworker, you know? Like, I don't expect my coworker, someone I work with, to ask for sex, you know, in an indirect way. Like, oh, can I come to your house, you know? Like, I just felt disgusted and angry and upset after that. And I, I told a few of my other coworkers... And um, <laughs> one of them told me it's my fault because I'm too open, you know, and I am. And uh, the other coworker is like, Hannah, it's not your fault. You know, you're alone here in Israel. There's a lot of people that just, you know, it's their problem. They they want to take advantage of someone that's in my position. But, <laughs> excuse me. And she's like, she was just really nice about it. But I think next time that happens, I'm going to tell him that I'm upset that he asked me, <laughs> you know, to come to my house because I think that's really inappropriate. You know, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, you want to come to my house? Like, for what? And I'm like, I don't really invite people to my house. You know, that's not something I do, you know? <laughs> my house is my castle, my privacy. And so many people, they just can't understand how... Someone could just be happy alone, you know? Like, I have my tiny little house. It's one room, kitchen, a bathroom. I have my animals, I have my life. I'm, I'm content, you know? Like, I don't feel empty, you know? Life is good, I'm lucky like that, you know? I feel guilty sometimes <laughs> for being so happy, but, you know, life is good, thank God. So that's what happened today with the, the guy. I don't know, somehow I just felt like he should know better, you know? Especially if you're working with uh, someone and, you know, with the autistic people. And I, I started to think to myself, like, maybe he's, who knows, like, how can you trust him around special news people if he's acting like such a schmuck with his coworker, you know? Yeah, he, he, at one point he asked me for my number when I first started working there, and I was like, what, my number? For what? And then I said, let's be clear, I'm not interested in dating you, <laughs> you know? He's like, no, just as a friend, just as a friend, and just very awkward situation, very weird, you know? So, girls just have to be strong, you know? Strong and not let men take advantage of you because you're alone. Anyhow, um, what else? Biden, Harris, <laughs> Kamala, and Pence. I, I was watching the debate this morning, and I watched the whole thing, and I thought Pence is a really sharp guy, and I was actually surprised that the, um, the debate was pretty civil, you know? It wasn't, it was almost like sleepy, you know, like two sleepy people, <laughs> but... Pence is pretty sharp, you know, he's pretty, like, I feel like you don't need to be, get worked up or angry or whatever. If you have facts and knowledge and you know what you're talking about, you can win an argument easily without getting emotional, you know? It's all about knowledge, knowledge. It's all it's about, knowledge. Knowledge, it's an amazing thing. <laughs> Jacinda? Jacinda? 
You want to come say hi to the people? Come here, baby. Here, I'm going to show you my baby. She's so sweet. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Be my friend. Come say hi to the... I don't want to land over. Come say hi to the... To the people. Yes, she's purring. You hear? Oh, don't bite my nose. <laughs> say hello. Hello, everyone. You don't like me holding you like this? No. Yes. Say hello to the camera. Say hello. I love you. Say, I love you all. And for the love. And affection. And the love attention. You're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love you just so much. Look at the camera. Yes, you see your nice baby. You hear her purring? Such a nice baby. Mm. Such a nice girl. Hello, wave, wave to everyone. Yes, look at this beautiful animal. Look at this gorgeous, look at this gorgeous animal. Look at this. Say hello, baby. Don't break me, baby. Can you say hello? Hello. Look at her paws. Hello, good morning, and how are you? Ooh, 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 ooh. Have you slept? Put you on my head for the show. Should we put you on my head to show all the people how nice you like to play with the with the pen? Here, let's show them how nice you love the pen. <laughs> Jacinda, let go. <laughs> Jacinda, she has her nails in my hand. Jacinda, don't bite me here. Here, show them how you play with the pen. Here, here. Hello, good morning, and how are you? Ooh, 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 ooh. Have you slept the whole night through? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Yes, you like it. You love it. You want some more. Oh, come. Come here. You see? Oh, you're bored already. <laughs> it's at those times when, like, these these guys get inappropriate with me and ask to come to my house when I, I sometimes say to myself, I wish I just had someone that I can... You know, because I'm an honest person and I, it's hard for me to lie. You know, if someone asks me if I have someone... So I wish I just had someone, and I could say, yes, yeah, say, I have a boyfriend, or I'm married, I have a husband, leave me alone, you know? It's like this kind of security, I feel, you know, if you have someone. But that's the only reason why I would want someone in my life. I have Jacinda in my life, and she's so beautiful. Hey, Jacinda, you shaking your tail at me. <laughs> okay, I'll let you go. Let you go, baby. I let you go. I let you go. Okay. <laughs> <I'm seeing that. laughs> I have work tomorrow in the morning. I'm tired. Oh, the other um Arabic worker. Her name is I forget her name. She's a really nice girl. So nice. She has like red hair. She doesn't have naturally red hair, but she dyed it red. And she has this amazing smoky eyes. Like she has brown eyes, but she. And she has like a heart face, and she has, she has her eye makeup like really nice, like smoky underneath blue and smoky here. What's her name? Anwar. And like, I looked at her eyes and I said, "Her your eyes are so nice. Wow, I love it." And she's like, "Yeah." So she she started to put the makeup on me. And she she said, "Let me show you how to do it." So she she put some in my eye like there. And then she put some mascara and she said she's another day she's gonna bring the makeup and she's gonna make me up because <laughs> I really like the way it was like underneath like smoky and on top she was just a nice girl you know I, I told her how I felt and she, she was just like she was really nice she's she like yeah I see you're upset about it yeah she's just such a, so sweet such a I'm so blessed to work with such nice people you know Wow, my guinea pigs are fighting. I think they're getting used to my house. I'm too I'm too tired to let them out because I 
can't clean up after them. They they hide and then I can't catch them. It takes me a while to catch them and put them in the cage back in. But I know why they're named guinea pigs because they're so fat. <laughs> like they're just, you know, they can eat and eat and they get fat. Very cute. Okay, bye.